guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana and this is Dana Creates. Last year we built this new custom bookshelf and it is January now in 2019 and I have styled it for no holiday whatsoever. Why do I wanna show you what that looks like? Because this is my normal home decor that I'm trying to move into. So come along and I'll show you how I've decorated for a non-holiday on a bookshelf. We will start off here as an overview of the entire shelf. I'm going farmhouse themed in a non-farmhouse. So I kind of have to work with both. Give you an overview of what it looks like all together. I am a balanced person. I like things to be even. So everything isn't completely identical on each side, but I tried to balance out the weight on each side. So I kept it very simple here on the top shelf. I have a new picture frame that I got from Marshalls. And in that I put a picture of Christ holding children. And then on this side, I have a metal stand with a little house. And actually, there's a candle inside there. I got that on clearance at Target, and I just thought that was the cutest little house to put on display. Moving down to the second shelf, I've kept these little tins and a little stack of wood rounds, as well as a Find Joy sign that my daughter made at Girls Camp a couple years ago. I have this cute little two-tiered tray that I got from the Target dollar spot. Love it so much. Inside the tin, I styled it with some cotton as well as a little ball up there and my wood bead garland and then I got this guy a little a couple years ago it's actually an ornament but you know I can't pass up a little house decoration speaking of which there's another one I actually have a fun decoration that I'm gonna do with this guy so he looks a little lonely sitting here because I'm not gonna leave him but we need a place to be for the meantime then I just have a candle from Walmart down here I have two of my houses that were holiday houses from Christmas time last year I believe and then a little bird cage as well as some cotton stems. Down here is probably my favorite little section. I have my white tray that I usually decorate for my table that I turn the opposite direction, which I think creates kind of that shiplap look behind the shelf and I love it, gave, gave it some extra dimension. And here we have some regular books as well as some memory books from our trip to Hawaii four years ago. That seems crazy that we were there four years ago for that trip. And then on this side, two more houses and a little stand. I think I'm gonna actually get some kind of a little decoration or a wreath to hang from that little guy. Down here on the bottom section, I just have a little wicker basket. I don't really have anything in it, but I like the texture of it. On the right side of the shelf, I have my little plant here. He's hanging on. He had a hard time during the holidays. Looks like this guy didn't make it today. He was fine yesterday, <laughs> but not today. Hopefully my orchids will come back. Well, time will tell. Over here, I have two little houses from Christmas this past year, as well as the little cake round from Target. If you are not new, you've seen these chat books of mine. This is only one of three sections that I put it here on my shelf, along with a candle. And then another little cake stand from Target, as well as a house from Target. In this little wood box that I made, I have a picture of Jason and I when we were finding out the sex of our third child, I think Chelsea, and then a little wood block of a temple. It's actually not the temple we were married in, but I still liked it. Down here, I have two books stacked up with some houses across it from Target. I still haven't quite decided if this is gonna stay this way because I don't love it, but I couldn't decide what else to do. I like the truck and it kind of matches the little books down here. These are my social book and you can pull it from your Facebook so you can create memory books of everything you've done on Facebook, as well as my Grove tin that I got years ago and another little house. Down here on the bottom shelf, I have some books that are my husband's that we finally get to display. And this is probably my favorite little basket that I've decorated. You'll see the second stack of chapbooks. If you didn't know, chapbooks come from Instagram and they're automatic printing as soon as you get to 60 pages. And I have about 40 copies of those. Inside this little wire basket, I have a little sign that I made. There's nothing else on it, just black. As well as an open sign that I got from the clearance section at Hobby Lobby. And then a wicker wreath and a sewing hoop. Down here on the bottom shelf on the left side is just a simple little white box with a picture frame sticking out of it. Right here I have a little wooden basket with an S coming out of it. No reason for the S, but I like the paper that I put on it way back when. As well as a picture frame for a cute family of five when we were five. But we now have little Ashley, so there's six of us. Here's the third and final stack of our chat books. You can see right there. Super fun memories. You can design them so that you can put the picture on the front that you want. 
So I did that one on purpose and that one on purpose. I just love us on the beach. That's on the Oregon coast. And then I put it on a little pineapple cutting board that I got from Hawaii a couple years ago. How many houses do I have, folks? Leave a comment below if you've added up how many houses I've got. You won't want to forget the last two up here if you're taking account of how many houses that I have. I made these two little houses out of four by fours. Super simple. I actually want to make more in different colors. Then I put some flowers that are plain neutral colors because it's not springtime yet in a little turquoise vase and then backed it by a tobacco basket. All right, you guys, that is it. Thank you for joining me on this quick little tour of our bookcase. If you haven't seen the video of us making this bookcase, I'm gonna leave the i card above and in the description below because it is just IKEA shelves, custom built to make it look like a custom built-in cabinet. So you can go check that out and as, as well as subscribing to my channel so you can come back for more. I do everything DIY, crafting, house projects. We have a lot more house projects to work on this year. My husband helps me work on those kinds of things as well as our daily vlogs. We have started to do those. We don't do them every single day because my life is quite boring when I'm here at home alone during the day. But we have four girls and they're turning into fun videos and memories for us and we wanted to share them with you. So make sure you subscribe and come back for more. All right, you guys, take care. Bye-bye.